was a dream that was real. It shall be realized. These are the wishes of Marcus Aurelius. Severe. Yep, they're running away. like the morale break broke right did slaughter them a little bit but you saw what I meant like um, can make a shield wall and all of that but if you're defending the enemy is just gonna like force their way through to your archers no matter what and stop at the infantry. We just keep moving forward. And only 28 losses on my side too. Look at that. Fancy. Hmm. And we don't get the large bag of pilum in this one now. That's, uh, that's surprising. Give some experience to the army. Ooh, look at that. Nice. I remember when we started playing this and it was a problem to actually like uh, level up your troops not anymore Speed damage bonus with pole arms with 20% while mounted. Yeah, definitely. Oh, god damn it. Come on, go save my city over there. have to take this the old fashioned way so we can actually like go and save whatever is besieged whichever city of mine is besieged now here's hoping the trebuchet doesn't actually deal more damage to us uh no no Fix the sieges, they say. Let's see what happens. Oh, that looks so funny, man. Like them going up with their shields hell high. The 
Ok, ya. Yeah. Wait a minute. What? Why is there like none of them here on this side? I need to capture this. As oh, I'm gonna need to leave some garrison in here too. I forgot to change my weapons. Let's get a one. Yeah, this is a mod. Panels. The, it's the Eagle Rising. CA Eagle Rising mod. You can find it on next mods if you just Google it. Or if you need a link, you can hop on to my this uh, Gilda server and you can find it there. But basically, it has the Romans in, as you can see, obviously, right? They added the Scythians into the game instead of the Kuzites. And what was the other one? Yeah, they made they made um, the the Batan the Batanii are still like Celtic, but they're not the Batanii. They're the Batani, something like that. And the Dryatics instead of the Valendian Empire, which are basically Dacians, more or less. Do they do plan on adding some Greek city states, a Carthage like faction, and like a couple of Germanic tribes, and maybe something like a? I can't remember. Was it Pontus or Parthian instead of the Azrai? But it is like one of the best or most fleshed out mods so far. Total overhaul mod. Well, I mean, the Calradia Awakens mod actually had magic in it, so I mean, that might have been a little bit better. Unfortunately, the people uh, who were making that split up and uh, they just ain't working on it anymore. You can just uh, you can just like search up the resonant uh, on YouTube. I think he made a video on this mod again a couple of days ago. Wait wait wait! wait. Is it Trebuchet actually targeting this? Oh, maybe it is. Looks like it's targeting the castle. Gate. Come on. Look at him run. Okay, now you have to hurry back and save the what? What's the besiege again? Oh crap! What's up, J two plug? We're not gonna take this one. Still hate the fact that you actually like need to request to enter a castle. Like, wh wh why? Ours. We're gonna need to put something in the garrison. Let's dump those inside. It's like how my all of my units are literally just you know high tier ones at this point. Well, except it. Well, archers here and there, right? And we... Ooh, we actually lost some party capacity. I guess I need to leave a couple more troops in here. Yeah, three more. Although that's probably gonna get besieged instantly by yeah, that army over there.
Yeah, sure. Thanks, thanks, Thanos. You can find it under the playthroughs and mods inactive. All the the uh, all the. Actually, I need to add. I'm using the distinguished service mod now too, so I need to add that in there. Oh no, it's actually in there. Yeah, so there's a mod list with all the links you need. But like I suggest, like adding one by one, adding the mods one by one, and then testing them out because you know one mod can just mess up everything. And of course, auto. Well, I guess my my stuff is the closest, right? And I don't think I can make it over there to save that. Make it there in time to save that. Let's disband these guys so we travel a little bit quicker. Actually, let's let's check our garrison in there too. I mean, we have 200 people in there. And that's like uh, the high tier troops without the... Uh, the militia in there. You know what would be nice? If some of our friends actually helped us and tried to save that for us, right? Now all the armies are over here and doing fuck all apparently. Oh my god, oh, ooh, I know what's gonna happen. This might be a defensive battle. Hopefully it will, I do wanna get one of those in the game, in the in the playthrough. We actually cannot pick up any more troops. Let's see what's up. Yep. This is gonna be a defensive siege. I mean, I'm gonna save scum this probably. So let's just jump in, see what happens because they might just um, they might just stop besieging it. At some point. Do we should have like control of what's uh, what they're gonna rate on the wall. Look at that. Look at my... Oh. Look at that. That's bad. Uh, are they gonna make it? I wanna... Oh, I see what happened. They spent too much time getting over here. They lost. They're losing cohesion, apparently. Probably. Most likely. Look at that. We have one million in the bank. Jesus Christ. What the hell am I gonna do with all that money? Old sheep. Get more money. <laughs> we have a decent amount of watches we can pick up here. Nice. Let's see. 
Wait a minute. Wasn't all of this like already like up to full? This loyalty. Loyalty is pretty freaking low considering. Ooh, they're gonna get wrecked. But let's just call my guys in so I actually control them in battle. Or never mind. What? God damn it, I could have caught them. And I even told him to like not chase anything and just, you know, come and join my party. Well, that's not my let's disband the army. Okay, let's uh where's the yeah, we need that definitely as soon as freaking possible. So we can have even more pila. Yeah, I took that for myself too. Good. Well, we did inch closer to the Western Empire. And they took that right back. God damn it. If we could only like piece the Ezra out, these are the Ezra, yeah. So we can like not get attacked on this side. Because that army is still right here somewhere. More or less. surprised they attacked it at all. Look, look at the garrison there. The beefy garrison. 500, more than 500 troops in there. Almost 600. Okay, I'm gonna start making my way back. Or you know what, actually? Because this is kinda annoying me. Let's go deal with that real quick. So we can see what happens with the quest. Food. More than enough. Always good. That's why. That's one thing I like about uh, Ben Load. We can have a. Any points? Uh, we can have a ton of food because we can like have a ton of meals with you. And as long as your party is decent, decent size, you're not gonna have a problem with herds. Now, hopefully, they're actually going to let me come inside of there. Why these guys actually like... Uh... 
got kicked out of their uh, party. I have no freaking clue, to be honest. May have one piece of the banner, but it's little use. It little use in it itself. You'll have to find the other parts, but once you can bring them together, together the pieces, you'll have something of tremendous value. You have so the banner of Calradios is part of a legend. It's said that be be carried by Calradios the Great, who first led his people to this land and conquer to conquer and despoil. The legend says that no army led by your true son of Calradius shall be defeated in battle. Convenient legend, eh? Of course, the, Cal the Calradians have been defeated many ta times, but I guess those were not true sons. Still, you could you could say it represents the strength uh, represents the strength and endurance of the empire. So, can you help me find the buyer for it? Oh. Before I answer you and I need to know more about each other. I, I don't know what you know about me. I was a citizen of the Empire. I was commander in the Imperial Armies, but I am not in Imperial. I am what they called Alec. No longer spoke as old, old peep, peep. Hey, what? Hmm. Now the question is, was Alec in the game before? Or is it just a... Or is it the modus who changed this round? The word Palak is Imperial. We are people who have forgotten who we are. The Empire has a genius genius for destruction. The destruction of languages, tradition, gods. It takes our fortresses, alters our men, and turns our children into its own children. Nothing can bring the Palak people back, but they are now Imperial. But, it, but this is an insult to our name, to our gods, to our memory. That the state which destroyed our shrines and fortresses should last and thrive. I vow that the Empire shall not survive the civil war. If I can do anything to stop it, and believe me, if I had that banner, there is very much something I could do. Um... Is. So is I'm gonna assume this is something like the like the claimant quest then. Ooh, another horse. I think this one is slower than the one I got, but still. God, I dodged those arrows without looking at them. It's not going to be as easy as, as it is usually on the hardest difficulty. He's still alive? I know. Well, my brother almost killed me. Oh, this is what I mean by... Uh, Fighting your own companions in tournaments. Jesus freaking Christ. I don't want to turn out the uh, damage numbers at this point.
How much damage was I doing and how much... What? Ooh. I'm actually... I think that maneuver speed is gonna be a little bit better than alt-right speed. Okay, so we've done that. What? To... Did talk to him, so we need another piece of the banner. Guess let's go over here and see if we can get inside. I don't know. We can circle back to the Southern Empire either way from the from there. Yeah, that is if they're gonna let us in. Which they are not, apparently. Well, that sucks. Who's the owner? Let's see what the problem is. He hates my guts. <laughs> um, can I? Still hates us. That did fuck all, apparently. Yeah, let's make our way over there. We're gonna need to like look up how to d do that quest. Oh, oh, got an idea. Maybe we need to like talk to him and let uh, tell him we're gonna help him. Let me try that. That if that if that works, then we'll do the quest. If not, I'm gonna just ignore him. Nobody got time for all that bullshit. But it's all if. From what I've understood, the main the quest is just gonna give you the option to form an empire, like leads you, nudges you into that. Which doesn't interest me that much, to be honest. Good, then I'll tell you what I know. I heard about one. Okay, apparently you do need to talk to them. that easy this may be too easy then it just literally just tells you where where the where to go and what to do yeah let's 
attack. No, don't bring them in. Bring them in. aggro so I can actually hit you. Never mind. Ooh, headshot. At least I think so. Another headshot. I got too good with throwing weapons, which is... Really something. In Warband, I was pretty shit with any ranged weapon in existence. Well, I well I was dealing with Bill, I guess. Like once you actually like you know get proficiency in them. Not ton of it. Too good. Too good. So let's take a look. Okay, now what? Okay, so we can help the long. Dead, well, not dead, but the long forgotten natives of this land, or we can uh, reform the empire, I guess. do that quest right now no let's take a little bit of the southern empire there Ooh. yeah it might be a better idea to steal this because the other i just don't, are not gonna be able to come in and take it instantly have a choice here, yeah, right? <laughs> uh, the yeah, I just want to wants to go to battle with the faction I don't actually want to fight. And we do need to find more uh, more optios. sell off the shit we picked up there. Push out the weapons real quick.
fine. Yeah, once we get to this area, let's go in. Let's see where our guys actually are. One's over there, one's over there, one's over there. Let's call them in about now. We're almost at a thousand troops with the companions alone. Well, not com well, yeah, companions, more or less. I don't even need anyone else. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, that increased our party capacity. Grab another two. That's what I don't understand. We picked up another one, but the party capacity didn't increase. Should be good. The two armies are doing doing good over there. This guy is besieging there. Let's go for this. Here we got another one of those. Is it gonna increase our party capacity though? No, it will not for some reason. I like how we're losing cohesion even though. Well, there's no one with us yet. We should be fine. We should. She's gonna be just shy of. Uh, oh no, actually. Yeah, just shy of a thousand troops. I guess we're gonna have to wait for clan level four, five, right? Since we're gonna have another... Actually... Yeah, no. I'm not gonna have more... Uh, plan, uh, part capacity. Might have a battle here, though. Uh, no force, these guys are not gonna come and help us. Why would they? Oh shit. Well, we're gonna scheme, save scum this if. Yeah, this, this is gonna be. Oof. Number by 600 men, more or less. And this isn't really a great spot. Oh my god, the paw pen is the paw pen is so so fucking disgusting. Better to just stay here because uh, 
It's where our reinforcements are going to spawn in. the edge of the map too is it it is although it's in total war so we can't like we can't like hug the edge the enemy the enemy is just gonna surround us anyway They outnumber us by 600 on the on the map, and they outnumber us by 600, 6, uh, 200 on the field too. What? Oh my God! What the hell is this? Scammer Shakab? I might be able to, Sammy. We'll see. The infantry is getting a lot of buffs from the... Infantry! From the, you know, the captain. And I, I did find the... Moz I'm probably gonna use. I don't know why I can't, like, pause the game and, like... Let me move this way, at least. Uh, there's two, two mods that I found. Well, I didn't look up, look through the mod DB uh, yet, but I did th look through next mods, and I found oh, wait, no, not that. I found Sturgia is Norse. It literally focuses on uh, Sturgia and makes them Norse more or less. And there's Wrath of the Northmen. Which... Um, I think they modify Sturgia and Batania, I think it was. And make them like, you know, more Celt, little Nordic. Well, Anglo-Saxon, Saxon and Vikingish. So... Look them up and like pick one. One of them. I mean, uh, uh, one of those two I'm gonna play with. We're gonna like do. Uh... Oh yeah, the PM does way more damage. Although I can't really, I mean, I can't really fight that much because the damage is unrealistic now. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna get a one shot by something. Sergio is not and Wrath of the Northmen, so we're gonna do like a. Two-handed axe with a bunch of uh, throwing spears or throwing axes build on on the foot foot only. Maybe I'll see how it works out. If I'm on like on foot with no like no horse or not on horseback in the Vikingish campaign. And I did like track the realistic battles. Build stacks, some other like mods. Let's see that the realistic battles actually like changes the what the AI does. So I'm gonna do that too. I mean, I'm gonna try to make all the mods work. I'm gonna try. We'll see how far I get with it. I'm kind of scared to fight here. If I go down, we're going to lose, definitely. Okay, now we're going to see what uh, what happens when the uh, enemy just goes through your infantry line. And they go for your archers immediately. Since they're bringing their skirmishers forward, let's just kill them.
fan of Vulcan, dude. <laughs> Ain't ain't we ain't we on the on the other side of that? <laughs> ain't we well they don't on number us that much. But yeah, look look at this. They're just gonna go past the infantry. Well most of them. Trying to get to try and get to the archers. Ooh, actually they stopped. Would you look at that for once? The fact that this is, maybe I should have moved a little bit further forward so we're not like on the edge of the map. See what the, oh, this is the problem, they just stay in formation, but like they could easily envelop my infantry now and just you know wreck us. But no, they're not gonna do that. We're gonna move a little bit forward so we can actually spread out the arches a little bit. I think my infantry is just getting too, mo too many buffs now since. Uh, Well, I think uh, I didn't. Uh, I think uh, the guy that I placed as the infantry captain commander was like uh, before I uh, switched to the overpower distinguished version mod, distinguished service mod, like uh, like the one, the older version of it, where you couldn't actually, you can only pick one of the things to be uh, for the guys to be skilled at. More than 200 kills. Ooh. On foot too. Like the most, I, uh, the most I get is on the when well, when there's just a shitload of troops, and I was on uh, on a horseback, stabbing them all to death against against the Azerai, of course. Who else? I'm actually surprised I didn't get a crossbow or something at this point. Quite sure how many kills they got in those battles. I would have to like go through and look at look through the playthroughs. Yeah. I am interested to see like how the how the how is the realistic battles they are gonna change the AI behavior. Sure. I think they're just running away at this point. Oh, watch when you're fighting the enemy. I mean, the count. Yeah. Um, um, I wouldn't say. It. I mean, kind of. Kind of. Like if you could slow down the, you know. This might be cheating if you're like it just in the. Oh, I'm gonna play some troops there, but I'm gonna use it to like avoid the arrows or some shit. You know. I might, uh, I might actually try to get the RTS camera to work again, but uh, I did see that there's uh, like a. Not refreshed version of the mod, but like an um, like another version of the RTS camera mod. I just called RTS camera, but something else, like green state or something. I think I tracked it too. It's 
still like for version 1.5 or 6 something. I actually didn't lose that many, so only 32. Now here's hoping that the another army just doesn't show up and attack us, right? Because that's usually what happens. Well, I mean, while they're hunting, hunting them down, I'll go look through the mods. Never mind, I can't like uh, with Elden. Yeah. yeah, once I click out the window, it uh, stops the game. Can you actually craft the Pila in the blacksmithing? The realistic battles, distinguished I'm gonna try to add the uh, perfect fire arrows or the auto fire arrow mod. RTS camera support continued, that's what it's called. Still stacks, true battle loot, right? Is that the one where you can pick up everything? I did a uh, find true limit also true arena experience what else what else I did like a track use your army to build improvements that could be nice but like if you're sitting your army is sitting in a city they're actually like building like you know the Romans did Legions were a building force as well. Control your allies after death. But that was updated la in ap April last, you know, like n almost a year ago. I'm gonna make a list of the mods and add that on Gilded. Uh, well, I'm. Um, Hopefully, I'm gonna make most of them work. I know the... Wrath of the Northmen works, That's that I tried. <laughs> that I got to work at some point. Now I wish I had more cats so we can actually like get... Mm. Well, the, cav the, the cavalry wouldn't kill them either way, so might be no point. Yell out. Is that the one where you actually like uh, yell at your troops and they, you know, like react like they gave them orders? Jesus Christ. Look at all of these level ups. Well, distinguished services, right? Skip that. For now. Recharge your troops go wow. I don't need to like um Cut out the, you know, the the, uh, the Warhammer 40k uh, walk uh, sound the orcs makes, orcs make. Just so I have that somewhere somehow. Oh, another more large bags of pilum. Do 134 piercing damage. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's pick up the horses. Look 
like all that sweet experience too. Question is how how is my party? Uh, okay, it's not bad. Could have lost more party capacity. That, capacity, that's for sure. Look at how many escaped. They need a siege. I'm not gonna be surprised if there's another army just comes in our way. That's my like I just have like a bunch of fights in front of a city before I actually like, you know fight it take it. I do like need to find the video of that on the channel. Or a couple of the videos on the channel, I think it, I think it took me over like one, an hour or two to actually siege down a settlement. Because like there was like six armies coming at me or five of them. Something stupid like that. Like create a super cut of it. Come on, come on. Yeah, there's gonna be another army. Coming our way. Or oh, never mind. Those guys are gonna get wrecked. Okay, we're gonna check that out as soon as we destroy this and get into the town. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. Just in time too. Which out the gladius. Those are gonna be fucking stupid. Oh, can like can you create the large bag of pillow? Do you feel like on a horseback you have like a four? It's gonna make it like what twelve pillow? All spears you can throw and stab people with. Line me up. like fire at the enemy from down here so let's move up the infantry up there interesting wait well there's no way to no you can you can actually buy like upgraded version of the armor right oh shit yeah don't mind me i'm just gonna throw a pillow at your face how the fuck did i miss this is on the challenging ai 